What's up guys, I'm back with another video, and I have something special for you today. I have the actual anonymous operating system. I've uploaded it to mega.co.nz, so you can go ahead and download it from here. It's about 1.36 gigabytes, and if you want proof that it is actually real, I loaded it up on a virtual machine on Oracle Box, and here you go, the actual anonymous operating system. Now they'll prompt you on a password and they give you an MD5 for you to crack it in order to get the password. This was a long time ago, but I've had the operating system for like several years now. So if you want the uh, password, it's A-N-O-N, -N, in all lowercase, to log into the actual machine, or the, to log into the operating system. You'll understand what I mean when you boot it up. So um, here's all the tools that comes with it. MD5 web crack, um, Tor's hammer, Polaris, HOIC, which I know what HOIC and low orbit or LOIC is. I know what both of them are. But you can basically attack websites with this. So if you want to change the resolution, because I know it's really small, so hold on. I don't know, it won't let me go to bigger, but anyways, you can add targets like websites and have these boosts and then fire to your laser to initiate the attack on a website. And you see, these are real tools, these aren't fake, so when you use it, be careful. We also got um, SQL map, have it, have it admin finder I already I know what this is I used it on Windows before to penetrate test my um, my website there we go so like we turn in a website and then you start scanning and then yeah it's pretty obvious um like how to use all this stuff so as you can see, the add and minus 249 cannons detected. Anonymous, anonymous HOIC. You can also turn on turbo mode. This one's in Spanish though. So, um, but anyways, that's this is anonymous OS. So if you want to shut it down, go to system, shut down, shut down. This is a virtual machine and it's based off of the Ubuntu 11.10. But anyways guys, if you want to download this, go in the description bar and there will also be a password for it. But there's no password for downloading it, but there is a password for um, for logging into the operating system. And they don't just want everybody going into it, just so you know. But it's actually pretty easy to crack the password though, so it wasn't really much of a big deal. Anyways guys, you can get it in the description bar. I'll see you guys later. Shut that off.